Hello everyone, it is Kylie and today I'm going to show you my everyday summer routine when I'm not feeling lazy and quick intro, that's it, let's get into it. So the first thing I do for my makeup routine is to make sure I get off all the excess oils before applying a makeover. So I'm just using my clean and clear oil absorbing sheets. So basically I just get any extra oils I have on my face. After you have washed your face and everything and done that, you will, or I like to apply my lotion with SPF in it, essential for summer. You do not want to burn your face at all. Well, I'll rub it on my face. Looks like I have sunscreen on. It smells like sunscreen, but not. It smells good. I like it. Sometimes if I'm really lazy, I won't apply this, but I'm applying, applying my, the pore, I am applying the pore professional pore eraser primer. Sometimes, I don't always apply this because, you know, laziness. And it's just like the little small size. It's not a tester because you have to pay for it. Brother all over my face and I'm not using an eyelid primer today so I'm gonna get that on my eyelids too next using the dream fresh Maybelline BB cream in the shade medium sheer tint see that right here medium sheer tint I'm just going to apply some on the back of my hand and taking this foundation brush. I'm just going to apply it like this. Just like I usually just apply nose, cheek, cheek, forehead, and my chin. I'm not sunburned. I don't know why it looks like this right now. I don't know. Maybe it won't look so red once I load it up and whatever. After I applied my BB cream, which is like a foundation and a moisturizer. Pretty cool. I am going to apply my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 25 medium. Um, let's, let's see. So I just usually apply this in my under eyes. I don't really have a specific like triangle. or Just on the bridge of my nose. I apply it on my under eyes, my nose for highlighting right here because sometimes I get like acne. Right here for highlighting and um, uh, to cover any acne spots you have that are, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Excessive, I guess. Then I just take a blending sponge and just dab that in. I don't rub because, you know, it creates more natural look if you dab. So I actually do powder after I do bronzer and blush, and I don't always do bronzer and blush, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to be doing, okay, my NYC bronzer in Sunny, my Smooth Skin bronzer. It's like on the inside. I haven't used it that much because I kind of recently got it, and it has a little sun. It's Super cute. Taking a brush, obviously. I'm just gonna go right like in the hollows of my cheekbones, bring it up onto my temples and the outer edge of my my forehead and on the jawline. And the same thing on the other side. I don't do it very heavy, you probably can't even notice it, but I notice. Next, obviously, is on to blush. So I use the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in Medium Mauve, I think. You can see it right here. Taking a big poofy brush, which is what I like, I'm just gonna... I kind of, like, bronzer I do this way, blush I do this way but it's still like on my cheekbones so yeah 
People might complain like, oh, you're 14, you don't need to be doing makeup, but it's like a hobby. Hobby. I like to do it, I like to collect it. It's something I like to do. Like, maybe you play this sport, maybe you do that, maybe you collect stuff. I collect makeup, and that's what I like to do. So, I think it's fun. It's something that entertains me, and something that... It's just my hobby, so... Just putting that out there. So next, I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte. I'm going to apply my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 18 Creamy Beige. That makes me sound really like pale, because I am. But and then I'm using this like little, like really compact, almost like Kabuki brush, and it, there's it's a, it's really good quality. Just going to apply this all over my face and down on my neck too, cause. Gotta even it out. Next is eyes. Evil, evil, evil eyes, which I'm not good at. So I'm doing eyeliner first because I literally cannot do eyeliner to save my life. So here we go. I'm using the NYC liquid liner. And I'm pretty sure this is waterproof. I think that's why I got it. To get a waterproof liquid liner. I'm almost positive. It doesn't say it, but I'm pretty sure when I bought it, that is why I got it. Any, it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's like a marker for your hand. So, or mark, oh my God. it's a, like a marker for your eyes. So, I didn't really show this on camera, but that was quite the challenge. And it's a terrible winged eyeliner. So, here goes the other eye. So, I have finished this eye, and it actually turned out kind of better than I thought, but I did have to, like, fix it up and, you know, clean it up. But now that I'm done, this literally takes so long for me, and I'm, I'm getting better slowly but surely. But that is my winged eyeliner completed. So next, I will move on to eyeshadow. So, Naked Basics palette is life. I'm actually thinking about doing a Naked Basics tutorial on using all six colors. So, in the comments, if you're watching this, leave a comment if I should do that. Like, a tutorial on how to use just these six colors and use all of them in one eye to do it by the color foxy this kind of like yellowy color you can't i don't even think you can tell if it's like yellow all over my lid trying to be careful not to cover my eyeliner with it next i'm taking walk of shame and applying that to my Oh my god, what is this called? I know it's called like the inner, the corner of my eyebrow. And it's kind of just like more white than like yellow and more like neutral to the skin tone there, but lighter. So it kind of just like raises them because my eyebrows don't raise. <laughs> I'm going to be applying the color Naked 2 all over my lid to kind of prime it and make it a little bit darker than what was all up here so i i really like how the ombre look where it's like light to dark so i'm going to be applying the color faint this darker color right here to the outer like corner and crease because i'm going to be layering this with a like more sparkly color but i want it to be darker Venus, which is like a shimmery color to match the shimmery color I'm coming with later. Putting that on the inner corners of my eyes. And rubbing that in below as well. Ooh. And then also taking it and brushing it on the inner part of my crease closest to my nose so it's kind of like an ombre look now but it's gonna get a little more crazy up in here 
I am in love with this eyeshadow. It is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. And it is like, it's like perfection. It is a really nice color. <laughs> and there's all my eyeshadow from like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to dab my brush in here and apply this to the outer corner and crease and kind of blending it. Because it is a, it's not just shimmer, it's like actually like a tinted color. So I'm just going to try and keep most of it like right here. So that is it for my eyeshadow, but I do need to touch up the wings on my on my eyes, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. Being very careful not to mess it up. That turned out pretty good. And then the last part before my mascara is to pencil my waterline, tightline. Oh my gosh, I always get those confused. Why can't I get this straight? But just so it's just like doesn't like the winged eyeliner just doesn't like end right here. I'm going to make it seem like it like connects from here down to my lower lid. But just by lining my, I think this is my waterline. I don't know. And this is so easy. Like it is just so much easier than applying like eyeliner to your actual like lid. Oh, you know what? No, okay. I was confusing myself earlier. This actually isn't waterproof. This, I was trying to get a waterproof crayon pencil for my waterline because it does tend to come off and smudge underneath, like right here, like the one I had. It would just smudge down here, and I, no, that can't happen. So, this is the, what brand is this? Okay, well, it's the Perfect Blend Pencil Crayon, and I thought it was by Rimmel. Oh my gosh, what is this? I'm pretty... <laughs> I have no idea, but I got this at Target, if you guys are wondering. And it does come with a smudge brush, too. So, it's... You can make your eyeliner smudgy if you want, you know. Just throwing that out there. Okay, so once I have lined my water lines, it is time to go in with the eyelash curler and curl my lashes. If you saw my beauty guru tag, I said that my favorite eyeliner would be, or um, the, my favorite, my mascara at the moment was the Rocket and the Illegal Lynx, and Illegal Lynx would be my favorite, but I didn't have it in waterproof, and I have it in waterproof now, and hands down amazing and this is just what it's just it's a quality mascara at target anywhere drugstore mascara but it's not a drugstore product to me it is life it is an amazing mascara okay so i'm just going to wiggle it on my lashes in this mascara isn't like buildable, but it like makes your lashes longer. I love it. So then I like to put this on my lower lashes because it is waterproof and it's just amazing. But mine actually really curl down, so I have to be careful. I should have done a June favorites video. I will do it for July and this product is amazing. It is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm, and this is in the color Sultry, Sulfurous? It's shade number 225, if you're, that's probably easier to say than Sultry, Sulfurous. But that is it for my makeup, my everyday makeup tutorial. Thank you guys for watching my everyday makeup routine, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. All the products I use in this are super amazing. Like, they are just great products, and I love them all so much. They're all so worth it. All these products I don't regret getting. They're just super great. And if you guys like this video, 
as much as I like the products. Like it, and I will talk to you later. Bye!